So, Vampire Survivors, we got some Carlo Kart Madness going on, and Madness has never been more accurate. As I think I will actually have to go Poe, because this Vampire Survivors new update, pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so much better than the other characters I was trying. Oh, Labrador. How could I lose? Well, Poe finally gets to have some speed, so that's nice for him. And a Labrador already. That's nice. So, this is something I read online, but I also figured out as soon as I started playing anyway. So I basically always go to the left, but if you go to the left, that's how you unlock this character here. Also, there's no light sources, it seems. Oh wait, was that a light source up there? So it's actually pretty hard to heal. I think these green things... Oh, there was one. But it's zooming around. I think these green marks... Uh, you know, there's uh, the race flag thing. The green marks here might be healing spots or something. I don't know, I don't remember hitting any of them with my failure attempts. De Niro does not do very well here, I can tell you that. Neither did Porta. So, yeah. That's why Poe's carting around here. No problem for old Poe. And just slowly work them down with the power of the garlic. Oh, hey, I actually get to see the coffin this time. Oh, no, wait. Hitting the green thing causes that turbo effect. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if this actually does anything. It usually seems to make me slower. At least I got some healing. And the light sources are not very consistent. Well, actually, they come up a lot, it's just... Boy, I didn't notice them at all, considering what's just going on here. Okay, this is going a lot better. Turns out garlic is very good here. So, that is everyone's future upgrade. Garlic like mad. Oh, they're going down. I'll be getting that new character soon. Well, I do know how to unlock them. I don't know what they are. Oh. Well, considering. Oh, also, yeah, I saw the illusionist down there. That's annoying. It's gonna be so annoying. Yeah. Mecha Guru Titan. Thank you, Poracho, but the vampire's another coffin. You're a vampire robot dragon with three heads. Your Rune Tin joins the survivors. Are you actually gonna do anything, Illusionist? Oh, is that a boss dropping enemy there? Or a chest, an evolution chest enemy? Nope. Get evolution chest. Ooh, I could get Silver Wind. That's actually a good idea, or whatever I had as third. Oh, Rune Tracer, no future. It doesn't look like there's any indication which one's which. I guess just here to have some fun, Illusionist. Oh, where'd that heart? Oh, heart came from silver wind. That should have been obvious. Huh. How does this map work? I didn't see one on the map. Coming up. Uh, how long do I need to survive this? Oh, is that my evolution chest? Oh, hey, there's the merchant. Oh, that's what the runny animation is for. <laughs> ah, that's silly. 
Well, I don't have anything I need from you, but hey, keep going on, buddy. Yeah, well, I'll swarm nice. I, actually, I have all my stuff maxed out, so I can evolve pretty easy now. And with festive winds, the power. The Soul Eater and Garlic gets compensated for their low damage and axe and. Oh. Oh, hey, there's a chest back here. Where did that come from? Man, I can't tell what happened. Wait, now it's over here? Man, this map is weird. Oh, hey, some chicken. Okay. I mean, does it actually fully loop around like any other, like no other map? Okay, uh, I should be on the same level as it, so that way, if I hit it, I'll grab it right away. Yeah, if I get closer, I'll... Nope. Blue right by me. It's over by the merchant, isn't it? What? Yeah, this is weird. Maybe I should not move. Or maybe I should move even faster. Like, going over the finish line seems to give me a stat boost to, well, stats. The growth stats. So that's helpful, also dangerous. Curse you, curse. Oh, I did hit record, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. Now I'm getting to the level where I really need an evolution. There we go. For any other evolution, but hey. Oh, there's our Conabat. Which is interesting, because boy, is it going to be hard to get that. Ooh, Attractor also has a lot of potential here. Things like Santa Water and Attract, and Labora doesn't. So it's going to be on the ground, and this is clearly moving. Hmm. Karna Bat hasn't gone down just yet. Don't know when it will, or if I'm even going to be able to get that chest with how weird this port level works. There we go. Oh, hey, I have all my rerolls, so that's nice. And this is nothing helpful. Ooh, I could get blood astronomy. Uh. Hmm, silent old sanctuary. Blood astronomy. Uh. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Okay, that's weird. So the stage seems to scroll. Hmm. So all the things that just pop up on the floor will be fine. They'll still work correctly. I guess it just moves everything else around, all the other pickups. Just kind of a nightmare to code, I bet. So, hey, kudos on you, Ponkel. Alright, charging low. Oh, no other chest, which I'm gonna miss. Uh, that looks like it's more in the middle. We'll get the turbos going. It's not gonna be till after the finish line, I presume. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to be stick with garlic on every run here. It's too good. Which is dangerous. Very dangerous. Yeah, that's vampire survivors for you. Until you work out what you're supposed to do, it's gonna hurt you repeatedly. Okay, looks like it's down low again. There we go. Snatched you right up.
That's a risk I didn't want to take. Why didn't you give me festive winds? Okay, okay, good. It's hitting the whole thing from the middle. Hey, even from from the bottom. Man, there's so many enemies spawn in here. Huh. Get a lot of levels. I don't know what the boost does. I mean, obviously I get faster. Maybe you're supposed to use... Oh, you get more magnet, too, from crossing the finish line. Well, that chest is forever away. Well, I'll just rain them always now. Can I get there? No, I'm losing it. Okay, it does boost up my speed. Does it say it on the menu? No, I just have 63 speed by default, which it probably does say on the mate base menu for the stage select. Like it does. Oh man. I am in hurry, right? No, I took it off. That's why. Oh, stalker in a cart. That's the last thing I need. Oh, whoa. Suddenly, they're getting in. I mean, I'll be fine eventually through the healing of what I got, but man, if I just best of wins correctly. And I still have my revive as well, so that's nice. Yep, just push through. Gotta keep Stalker on the back. This time without random events. Oh, there we go. Try and survive that, you faker. Well, I guess it's good to get the stage shown off without hurry on. Well, granted, I'm gonna do it with your root tin. Okay, now with festive winds, it's all toast. Oh, now Drowner's showing up. You're the least... well, I guess technically both. Wow. They're still managing to do stuff, despite festive winds existing. I guess because my cooldown is... terrible. Wow, it's been so long since I've done base cooldown. I'm not used to... this. When one of your weapons doesn't get the benefit of it. Maybe the Arcana. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need a wake. Well, then again, knowing the back end of things. Ooh, NFT. Go away, Drowner. Whoa. Wait. Does Drowner do damage? No. No, Drowner does not do damage because you're not supposed to be able to touch Drowner. Yeah, look at that. Nothing. Sure, I have armor on. And there's Madiner. Rarest of them all. In fact, outside of Boss Rash and the one time he shows up in Capella Magna, does he show up anywhere? Oh, I think... yeah, maybe... He, is he the one or is he, Illusionist the one that unlocks Avatar and Furnace? Well... I should say leave a comment down below about that, but... You know, I'll just not look it up on the wiki after. Nope, it's the chest. Oh, why is the Arcana chest not purple? I mean, it's kind of purpley. Are the chest sinking up again? That's weird. But, not a surprise, I guess. Well, obviously the damage boost from Silent Old Sanctuary would be great. And I might not get it. I'm not going to get it, am I? Oh, there we are. Just barely. Hey, some power up. Oh, hey, the dark, the shadow one. That doesn't really matter. I suppose I wonder if that means we're going to get a second ender fight. Oh, right. Oh man, I don't remember if I'd ever made it to an actual posted video about my Vampire Survivor's Dream. A super giant death that took up like three-fourths of the screen and tried to hit you with its hand. And a giant glowing coffin that took up three-fourths of the screen, but this time it was from the bottom to the top instead of like diagonally. 
And that giant hand reaches out from it, because that's where the vampire actually is. Ooh. Well, presuming that we're all not vampires. After all, the vampire we're looking for is not the ones we found. Da -da 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 -da. No, bye bye, whichever one that is. Oh lord, no. Shooters in the minecart? Oh, what was that? Yeah, shooters in the minecart. That's terrifying. If I didn't have garlic, that would be a nightmare. So yeah, anyone who comes here is going to have garlic. Oh boy, there's just going to be no two ways about it. That's how I play. Poorly. A smart person would have ended this already and gone back and selected hyper. Well, I'm always on hyper. Hurry. You know, the correct mode. Yeah, even the... Man. Garlic and attract. We're always going to be attractive options here. Plays so unlike any other stage, yet still has the same basic gameplay loop. That's great design, Ponkle. Great design. Wait, should I include Ponkle in the tags? Well, whatever. Also, I should probably at least make start trying to make an attempt to make a Vampire Survivor's hashtag instead of just sticking with Vampire Survivor. It's really annoying. To have the game not have an actual hashtag. Ayudin Chronicles has that. Unicorn Overlord has that. They don't even have icons for gaming. But Vampire Survivors, which does, doesn't. I mean, yeah, Vampire Survivor versus Vampire Survivors. I mean, this can't be more. This can't be more than 15, right? Yep. Here's all of them. It's definitely 15. Wait, no, you're missing your darker cousin. And your red cut, Bigger brother and your white hand boss. Oh, right, no. Metaglios are rings on this, huh? Oh, yeah, they're getting slowed down by astronomy as well. Or at least I think it slows them down. Huh, they don't get damage numbers. Death does. Red Death does, though. Oh, wow. So many Orologians. On down. Wait, did I get an egg off that? Oh, no. Not one down. It looked like one down because Madinor got pushed away. Does my speed keep going up? Oh. Yep, 15 minutes. So that makes sense. You'll never catch me, Death! You'll never catch me! Oh, you caught me. Alright. 4.1 million on Death Spiral. Soul Eater 3.2. And it had less time. Heck, almost as much DPS just because everything was so congested. Blood Astronomy, I did pretty good work too. Festive Winds actually did the least, which is generally pretty rare. Either way, that's the first run down, or I should say, first wheel down. Stay tuned for next in actual hurry mode. Okay, more Carlo Kart. This time I'm going back to Gennaro. I have a better idea of how I want to build this. And should have a better track of the madness. This time I'll make be on hurry mode. Gotta get that new update smell going. Okay, that's way better of a start. Oh, dang damn it. This Pumrola, yeah. I want to get garlic. Garlic seems like it's going to be very essential. I already mentioned it, but... Tracked Orb also has its attractive qualities here. I really do think it's going to come down to a lot of Pumrola and garlic. Hey, just look at the difference this is already making. Alright, now I just need Bracer. Yeah, speed up. I can outfoot you, merchant. 
And the fact that I didn't meet you again means that you clearly weren't showing up. That isn't looping entirely. It's the map background that is. And that causes the things. And I hate to lose out on Candle Abrador, but I need Bracer, obviously. I wonder how the things are divided, these boost pads. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I think I've seen two in the row on the bottom. That's three in a row on the bottom. And also, I checked the Ars Guda again, and that's actually not Trick Illusionist, it's Trickster. Which I'm pretty sure I've actually said at some point. And of course, both of them. I mean, Root and Tracer should be pretty crazy here. Huh. Actually, let me think. Oh, good, I got all my stuff. Maybe it alternates every time you hit one. That was something like seven in a row for bottom. No, no, it just seems to be utterly random. I don't like the curse increase, but it's all I... But I like everything else. Or maybe it's actually just set randomly when you start the map. Because I don't think I've seen a single one up on the top tracks. Has anyone else seen it? Leave a comment, because I haven't. Leave a comment. Oh, there was one. Yep, there we go. Maybe, like, hit two and then it resets to the other track? No. It's just so random. Hey, maybe if I slow it down I can react. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a jokester, there's no way you can react to anything here. Look at that. I even knew it was mostly coming and it's still gonna get through. Uh oh. Man, and this is with Silent Old Sanctuary to start with, too. My damage isn't keeping up. I mean, I do have armor and a no future, so that'll be good eventually. And, well, I have armor and Pumrola. Oh, I missed the Arcana chest, too. That's critical. Okay, do have evolutions coming up, so... Oh, I missed it. I think it was slightly on here. Man, that arrow's gonna be better. Got one. Ooh, that's some... Dangerous gameplay, and another weapon. Oh, I would love that at any other challenge. I've been getting so many dang... Candy boxes. Well, that was not what I was looking for. Kind of chest is coming closer, closer, closer. And it'll still sneak up on me despite knowing it's incoming. Pierce. Oh, hey, another one. Good. There's Soul Eater. I still missed it. Come back. Come back. Well. Oh. Hmm. Man, if I keep missing that. Oh, dang you, Stalker. Oh, you do way less damage here. It wasn't just that Drowner did nothing, it's that they're all going to do nothing. I 
Well, the knives are clearing a pretty good path now. Not a lot of damage, but hey. It's been so long since I've not... And I missed it again. Well, anyway, it's been so long since I've had knives with the actual numbers on. I forgot how bad that number was. Oh, hey, two of them at once. Knew that was coming. Set it up specifically like that. So you actually have to put a bit more strategy into it. Uh oh, knife tornado. Oh, no future. And if they do hurt me, it's gonna end poorly for everything. You know, I can just rain them always. Yeah, armor and pump roll are just gonna be seeming way too essential for this. You basically need Pomerola because you're not going to have much in the way of getting uh, light sources going. I mean, it's actually pretty okay for me to take damage since it procs no future destruction waves. Tractor, man. Such an interesting way to build a stage. No, oh, and I actually looked up this guy, and his name is the Blinder. So that's fun. Okay, maybe I can actually finally grab one. No, I didn't even see it go by me. And he is still the Maddener. I am sure of that. Wait, what? I... What? I was going back to try and slow it down. And it still wouldn't let me pick it up. It just sped by instantly. That's your fault, Blinder. It's exactly what your description says. You just laugh when the screen gets so filled with effects. That can't be taken care of. I wonder if I can keep you around till the rest of them show back up. Nope, seems not. Whew. Yeah, it's way too much essential stuff here. Garlic really changed this around, like, crazy good here. I always think people being down on garlic were a bit... wrong? Yeah, not heavy end game, but it keeps you nice and safe for the early game, and has plenty of benefits all game long, even if the damage isn't great. But here, it's basically mandatory. No, I'm gonna not get a single Arcana chest. I don't even remember seeing the bats spawn in. Huh, did the four of them go when Red spawn the Reaper spawns in? I should start calling him the Reaper, that's the official name. Okay, well that's another Carlo Kart stage down. No future. Showing off. Nice and fast. Okay, let's try some Carlo Kart with Arca Ladonna. And hopefully not fail yet. Uh, victory sword. Man, what is with the bad rerolls? Can't get anything good. Well, we're gonna have to go for early banishes, I guess. I mean, Summer Night would be amazing here. Like, completely incredible. But that's not the build I want to do. Yeah, a lot of weapons have a second life here that they usually don't. Oh, well, I mean, obviously, Summon Knight and Echo Knight are pretty dang all crazy good already, but they'd be even better here. So maybe that's what I should focus on. Better weapons, instead of ones for the build. Just good, solid, strong weapons that don't need evolutions. Man. Dang, 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 dang. Man, oh, there you are, Empty Tome. 
Now if I can get that off with some fire wand, it should be much safer. And some chicken helps too. Alright, this is going much better. Now what do I want for my third? Phaser is a good option. Paco Batelier? No. It's pretty mid at best. Alright, there's my passes done. Oh, hey. Hats. Party Popper. None of these. Well, actually, normal Corello would be pretty good. In fact, Rama is actually going to be the only one that's going on off the background. So, yeah, the only stage Rama is actually good on. Uh oh, that's not good. Certainly do hope I get that thing I need real soon. Whatever it's gonna be. Bracelet? There's worse options. And it will get harder fired. Gotta be behind the Minotaur thing here if it drops. Yep. And I didn't have it upgraded all the way. Great. Well, that was my fault. Or, no. Not spamming it to max ASAP. Right. Hmm. Oh man, I ran right into it. Nope. Gotta get some chickens. Save me, light sources, save me. Man, they don't want to spawn it. Huh. Chicken spawn seems really bad on this map. Also, missing them doesn't help. Alright, I'll sit in my delicious water and hope that it gets me a chicken one of the light sources. That should be a good strategy. Hey, a vacuum. I wonder how that's going to work. Oh, hey, more stuff that I have to stay behind in order to take care of correctly. Oh, whoa, my damage is terrible. Oh. Please don't have Arcana Bat defeat me. Arg. Arg. Okay, I've regenerated some health back. But I basically have to keep sticking it around up here, hoping for some light source to get some chicken. It is not a good sign. And it's still better than having to ultimately rely on garlic every time. Which is a neat idea. Okay. Alright, yeah, okay, good, good. It should be solid enough that I could muck around the middle and hope I get those chests I need. Makes them go faster, too. Aw, oh, dang it. I need to get so many things. Oh. Okay, I saw it that time, so I can grab it. And the other one. Will I get the cart bonus here? Good, I do. Hey, NFT. Nice. I'll have a nice clear path to actually see it when it shows up. Wait, the wheels aren't moving? You lied to me. You lied to me. Again. Uh oh. Oh, that's bad. Curse you, stalker. Curse you. No, I gotta rush. Good, Arcana. Bad. I have to hit awake. Worse. I didn't get that chest. Or the other one. Oh man. This 
Stalker caused so many problems as per usual. And my damage is not great because I'm relying on evolutions and such that I don't have. Uh oh. Hey, get back here, chicken. Man, if I just grabbed one of these chests, it would have been fine. Stalker went away. I know this chest is on the bottom. So, if I could just finagle around. Get good, good, good. Anything. But that is the worst time. Oh, that was something else. Good, good. Hellfire, Hellfire. And my other Arcana chest basically out of nowhere. Silent Old Sanctuary or Bouncy Bounce? 60's a lot. I think the bounce is more valuable if I can get it all the way at the end but Waltz of Pearls is here with Hellfire oh that is so much better it's crazy in the difference of power I've just gained and it still might not be enough no oh, I made the worst decisions possible eh? No blinders here. Oh, still good. And I missed it. Oh, Labora, you would have basically won me automatically. Hit. Oh. Arr. Curse you. Curse you. The arrow was just more accurate, it would be fine, but right now, it's nigh impossible unless you notice it ahead of time, where it's positioned. Oh man, I still missed another chest. Uh-oh. I don't have any more revives. This is my last dance. Okay, I don't know where any of them are at all. He's gonna hope it's somewhere up top. It was not. Oh, oh I was. I just barely missed it though. Now going back for it. Oh, that was up top. Okay, move where the arrow goes. Up top. Just barely. Okay, and with Tri Bracelet, this is a lot better. Since now everything gets double burned. Uh oh. Nope. I'll be clear, they're all grouped up. Well, they're not all grouped up, but they are close together. Well, four of them are grouped up. That's the word I wanted. Oh, and I just ran him into another chest, which doesn't give me Labora because I don't have a tractor. Well. Oh, hey, that was a lucky rosary. And that was a reaper in the face. Phew, that was pretty dicey, but I didn't have to rely on garlic, so that's nice. Now that was a rough one, but successfully managed to get up to 216 done on Karelo Kart. That's not 16. That is a stage with plenty of rough times, and Mecha Guru 10, 10 is going to be showing off next time what they can do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support you've given me in the past. Thanks for any you're going to give me in the future. If you'd be so kind as to like the video if you did, dislike if you didn't, give a comment if there's anything you want to say, and a subscription to support the channel. Have a good day and keep mezzing around.